For this video, we are going to talk about what's inside my camera bag. What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm Jason Garcia. I'm a photographer based in the Philippines. This is my first ever YouTube video. It will definitely not be the last. So I highly highly encourage everyone to like this video, subscribe on this channel, and hit that notification bell para na rin ako sa bye bye kayo sa mga susunod ko pa na upload here on my channel. I'm going to share with you guys the camera bag that I use, the camera bodies, the lenses, flash units, and other important accessories that I bring with me on a shoot-to-shoot -shoot basis. So, huwag na natin tong patagalin guys, let's proceed to the main video. So, first up are camera bags. I use two camera bags. One is a backpack and another one is a sling bag. For the sling bag, I use the Low Pro Passport Sling version 3. This was given to me as a gift last year from my girlfriend. I love it. I use it every time. Usually, ginagamit natin to pag yung nature ng shoot is short duration lang. Around 3 to 4 hours. Tapos chill and relax lang yung vibe ng shoot. Usually for portraits and content creation. And very important reason din yung mga shoot na requires multiple location. Yung palipat-lipat ng location. Kasi nakakatagod pag yung bag natin is mabigat. This one is really, really lightweight. I love this bag for three specific reasons. One, it's because it's lightweight. Two, it looks conspicuous enough to be mistaken as a camera bag. So very important yun for safety. And lastly, it's spacious for its size. Meron din siyang pull feature wherein meron ditong zipper. Kapag in-unzip mo, magkakaroon siya ng around 30 to 40% extra space for your stuff inside the camera bag. So very very cool feature, very very useful na feature. So for our next bag, I use a Low Pro Pro Tactic BP450 All Weather Version 2. I was able to acquire this bag as a price. Nanalo kasi ako dun sa sinalihan ko na contest last year which is yung Color House Pro Olympics 2019. Nanalo ko dun sa isang category tapos binigyan nila ako ng gift check na 10,000 pesos as their price. So yung gift check yung ginamit natin pambili ng bag na to. Thank you so much again Camera House for the opportunity. See you ulit sa susunod na Photo Olympics. I love this bag na matagal ko na din kasi yung gusto ko mili ng bag na to. This is the bag that we use 80% of the time. So ginagamit natin tong bag na to usually pag yung nature ng shoot is uh, long duration. Usually mga 6 to 8 hours um, or more. Also for events like weddings, corporate events, graduation, which requires a lot of just-in-case or backup books. I love this bag for three specific reasons. One is because it's versatile. Two, it can hold all the gears that I need for my shoot. And lastly, it is well padded and protected. Very very important kasi sa ating mga photographers, videographers, and other creators na safe and secure yung mga gears natin. Not to brag about it, but alam naman natin na yung mga gears natin is not cheap and also getting them repaired is also expensive. So we are finally going to go to the good stuff. We will start off with the camera bodies. I am using the Nikon D750 and the other one is the Nikon D7500 in which I cannot show to you guys right now because it's what I'm using to film this video. So our main camera natin is the Nikon D7500. It's full frame, it's awesome, I love it. This was a gift from my parents around 3 years ago and since then, ito na ginagamit natin professionally. Actually, meron na siyang replacement this year lang, it's the Nikon D780. Pero hindi ko pa naman feel na kailangan ko na mag-update. Since one, I still don't have the budget for it. And two, this thing is still serving me really really well. Feel ko nga hindi ko po siya in full capacity. Sabi nga nila diba, don't fix something that isn't broken. The main reason why I love this camera is because of the overall image it can produce. It's short, the colors are great, the low light capability and the dynamic range is really really good. So if you are looking for a full frame stills camera for a fairly cheap price, this is the way to go guys. Ang downside naman itong Nikon D750 is yung ganyang video capabilities. Kung naalala nyo, sabi ko kanina, this is a stills camera. I would not recommend this if you are thinking of using it for video. 
photos. Kasi guys, this camera performs poorly in video. But for stills, this is a beast of camera. Wala kayong magiging problema dito talaga guys. Next camera guys is my second body, my backup camera. It's the Nikon D7500 in which I cannot show to you guys right now because it's what I'm using to film this video. Attached to it guys is the Nikkor 18-140 VR lens in which ito yung kasama niyang lens pag binili niya siya as a kit. This is a new purchase for me. It's very much similar with my main camera except that this thing is a crop sensor one. For some mga Nikon users na DX sensor siya. But even though crop sensor siya, this thing produces high quality images pa rin just like my Nikon D750. And the video of this thing is more capable than my Nikon D750 kasi mas latest siya lumabas and uh, mas latest yung technology na meron siya. This camera is not perfect, it has some flaws in it but I think the major downside of this camera is they remove the second memory card slot. Yung second memory card slot kasi guys is a very very important feature of the camera especially if you are using it for professional use. Kasi mahalaga sa ating mga professional photographers and videographers na meron tayong multiple copies ng mga files. Para if ever, hindi natin inaasahan na mabura yung mga files natin, meron tayong backup ng mga files. Remember guys na it is our duty to keep safe yung mga once in a lifetime moments ng mga clients natin so we cannot afford na mabura yung mga files natin permanently at hindi na ma-retrieve. So that's it for the camera bodies. We will now go with the camera lenses that I use. The first lens is a prime. It is the Nikkor 50mm 1.8G. This is my favorite lens. It's sharp. The bokeh is great. And um, this is my favorite focal length for a full frame camera. This is the best quality lens you can buy for a cheap price guys. Sobrang mababago ng lens na to yung photography experience nyo guys. I guess yung downside nga lang na is it feels plasticky. Which is something na expected because of its price point. On to the next lens guys. It is the most versatile lens in my camera bag. This is the Tamron 24-70 f2.8 SP. VC USD. I bought this lens second hand for a fairly cheap price so this was a complete steal. Kaya nung nakita ko siya sa online, um, I know na kailangan talaga siya makita personally to check it and it turned out really really well naman. This lens is heavy, it's chunky, which is what would you expect sa mga lenses na professional grade talaga yung pagkakagawa. The image quality of this lens is good pero kung i-compare natin siya sa mga primes like yung 50mm or 85mm mas gusto ko yung look and overall image quality ng prime kasi it's sharper, mas maganda yung bokeh kaso nga lang yung mga ganitong standard zooms is versatile sa mga iba't ibang situation The only downside that I can think of about this lens is because it's heavy So kung gagamitin mo siya for longer hours, mungangawit talaga yung braso mo, kakabukat sa kanya. Another thing also is it produces unnecessary vignetting sa mga images niya. Which is madali lang naman gawa ng paraan sa post-processing. Next up are flashes. This is the Godox TT685 TTL flash for Nikon. This flash is TTL. I love it. It's powerful enough to light up events. Um, it's also pretty cheap. The recycle time of this flash is pretty much okay. Wala pa naman akong na-experience na problema sa kanya ever. Tapos yung build quality niya is hard plastic. So medyo assured ka na magagamit mo siya for a very long time. Ang kapartner naman ito is itong Godox X1 Pro flash trigger. This is for Nikon. I use this every time kailangan ko na off-camera flash. This is fairly easy to connect and use. And ang maganda sa brand na Godox is they have a unified system of flash triggers and flash. So, makokontrol ng flash trigger nito yung all types, all kinds, all models of Godox flashes. Another flash that I would like to share to you guys is this Photozoela Montana C600. 
This is just a generic manual flash that I bought some years ago. So, ginagamit ko na lang ito as a backup flash and also sa mga times na kailangan ko ng secondary light source. So now guys, we are going to read the accessories part of the video. Unahin na natin tong camera strap. This was made by a company called Altura. So siguro guys, tinatanong nyo kung bakit may kasama namang camera strap yung mga camera na binibili natin. Bakit hindi yun yung gamitin ko? Yung camera strap ko kasi, which is made by Nikon, nilalagyan nila ng design dito na yellow, tapos nalagyan sila ng yellow na nakalagay Nikon D750. Medyo ayoko yung ganung idea kasi it can draw attention sa crowd. Tapos pwede din source ng destruction or also para na rin sa safety nung gears natin and safety mo as a photographer. Kaya pinalitan ko yung mga camera strap ko. I opted buying something na black, something na low-key lang, and something na minimalist in style. Next up guys, our memory cards. Sama ko na din dito yung memory card holder natin. Impact proof, waterproof. This is probably the most important accessories that you should have in your camera bag. Sabi nga natin kayo na earlier in the video guys, always always have multiple copies of your files para na rin makaiwas kayo ng problema sa mga clients nyo. So worse, kasuhan kayo ng mga clients. Next up guys are batteries and power sources. I always bring with me a lot of camera batteries, double A batteries, and power bank para hindi tayo maubusan ng power while nandun tayo sa shoot. Next up guys, I always bring my cell phone. This is what I use to constantly communicate with the client and also to search for directions. I also bring with me my iPad. Meron kasi akong prepared dito na PowerPoint ng portfolio ko. So if ever dun sa event, merong client na interested maghanap ng photographer, I can readily show them my portfolio. I also bring with me a pencil case. Meron tong ball pen, may eraser, may stapler, the usual office stuff. Ang kapartner naman dun is this one. Ito yung lalagyan ng mga contract ko. So meron akong mga extra few um, copies ng contracts. Para if ever dun sa event, merong potential client, meron akong maipapakita na contract and explain ko rin yung terms and condition ng contract ko para yung initial meeting namin is magsilbi na meeting about dun sa ini-inquire nila na service. I also bring with me a few extra business cards. I also bring with me a very very important tool. This is a Swiss pocket tool. This can be used for emergency purposes, for your safety. You'll never really know when you are going to need one. So it's best to have this in your bag. A reusable bag. Metro bag. Nagdadala din ako ng USB flash drive with the Nikon ID strap. Dala din natin to wireless earbuds. Nagdadala rin ako guys lagi ng separate pouch for cleaning kit. Meron ako lagi dito microfiber towel and blower. Lastly guys is this thing. This is a hydro flask 1 liter water bottle. It is very important guys that you keep yourself hydrated all the time. O kasi guys, pag ako nagdi-dehydrate, sumasakit yung ulo ko. So naapektuhan yung workflow natin which is bad for business. So that's just about it guys. Those are the gears, those are the stuff that I put inside my camera bag on a shoot to shoot basis. I hope that you guys enjoyed and most importantly learned something from this video. I would really appreciate it if you guys will find time to like this video, subscribe on my channel and talk to me in the comment section down below. And if you guys wanted to see more of these videos, Comment your suggestions in the comment section down below or send me a private message in the social media accounts that will be linked somewhere here in the screen. Again guys, this is Jason Garcia and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace!